Hey guys, so today is Friday, October 18th of 2024, and I was going to start um, this recording this morning when I woke up. I actually went to um, a tennis clinic at 8 a.m., which is early, <clears throat> but I really can't complain because it's a literally like three minutes from my house, um, but as you guys may or may not well actually i was gonna say as you guys remember i'm not a morning person but that's not true because when i was um actively raising you guys um <clears throat> i would wake up early i would wake up before you would wake up and i would spend time with the lord so um i guess i was a morning person but i have I have changed I think my sleeping patterns and I less prefer to get up early in the morning um, <clears throat> but things are kind of shifting and changing because I have taken up a few things like tennis and other things where I have really enjoyed um, the mornings um, especially, I always, I make it a point, even if we, ha if I don't have tennis in the morning, I make it a point to get up an hour before I need to get ready for whatever it is that I'm going to be doing that morning. And I spend at least an hour with the Lord. <clears throat> I spend an hour with him, um, praying and thanking God, um, just as a remembrance for everything that he has done for me and everything that he's going to do. And so I always dedicate the first part of my day. Um, and I guess I kind of started that habit when I was actively um, in your lives. Um, I would get up early because I remember your father <coughs> would get upset um, whenever I spent time with the Lord um, so I would, and I know that's a little bit of a blanket statement, but for the most part, like, I have to say there was definitely a lot of pushback, um, if I was spending time with the Lord while anybody was awake. So I just started waking up really early. That way there was no pushback. And then I would spend time with the Lord before anyone was even awake. And that's where I felt, um... I think safest and most comfortable um, talking to the Lord and being open to what he would put on my heart to pray for. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm kind of digressing from this video. Um, that wasn't my intention <laughs> was to talk to you about my morning routine, although I, um, it is a, it's an important part of my life. It's a significant part of my life is my morning routine. But anyways, this morning I woke up early and I went to a tennis clinic and um, I played tennis for an hour and a half. I wasn't like in any matches, but we had a trainer, a tennis trainer, which is here at our golf and country club. And he <clears throat> works with um, whoever wants to sign up for the clinic and he works with us and he does drills with us. And he teaches us techniques, and it has been extremely beneficial for me to do the clinics and the drills. Um, so yeah, it was cold, by the way. I know, probably not as cold as where you're at in Washington, um, since I'm down here in the south. Um, but it was cold. I think it was, I think it was in the low 40s when I woke up. And then I think by the time I got into the got onto the tennis courts, I think it was mid fifties, um, <clears throat> which really isn't that bad. I know I should not be complaining. I actually put some leggings on with my tennis skirt, and then I opened up the garage and I walked outside to bring the garbage can in. And I thought, wow, it's a lot warmer than I thought it would be. Um, so I actually took the leggings off and just wore my tennis skirt and uh, with a long sleeve shirt, which I actually ended up later on towards the end of our tennis clinic. I took that off because I didn't need a long sleeve shirt. 
But the weather is definitely changing here. It's not as hot. It's perfect. It's so nice. It is so nice. Like right now, I know I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. I'm not wearing, um, I'm not wearing like long leggings. Um, but I, I do have to say, it is absolutely perfect. I am, I think it might be in the mid 70s right now. Um, and there's a little bit of a breeze that's going on right now. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys I love you. I miss you guys so much. I, for whatever reason, I felt like I woke up numerous times last night just praying for you guys. Interceding um, for all three of you guys. I'm not sure what the Lord is doing. Um, I'm never sure <laughs> what he's doing. I get kind of like ideas or thoughts um, of what I feel like the Lord is doing as he impresses upon me to pray for particular people. Um, and I would say last night or early this morning, the Lord had just really put it on my heart to pray for you guys and intercede for you. So I did. And um, I'm just so grateful when the Lord does that. Um, I feel grateful because I get an opportunity. One, I feel like when I'm praying for you guys, I feel like I'm connecting with you. And I'm sure there's something in the spirit realm um, that is happening when that happens. I'm not quite sure of the full context of that. I'm sure that your Auntie Anne would understand and be able to describe that. Um, but I did feel like I was praying for you guys most of the night. Um, and then today, I was kind of cleaning up um, our kitchen and living room area. And I was reminded again of you guys. Do you guys remember this? The bug spray that I would make? Um, I'd use the doTERRA essential oils to make the bug spray for you guys. <clears throat> and actually for all of us. I love how it smells. It has like lemongrass and I think I add lavender for a tick repellent. Um, gosh, I can't remember the rest of the oils. I should write it on the bottle so that I don't forget. Let me see if I can smell them. Sometimes I can smell the oils, like I'll smell a particular oil. All right, let me see. I just took the lid off of it. Hmm. Definitely lemongrass. Oh, I think I use their, um, oh, what is it? Terra Shield. There's Terra Shield in here. Um, lavender for sure. Hmm. I can't remember. I can't really smell the rest of them. Ah, but I don't know. It smells so good. <clears throat> tonight is a, they're doing music in the park again tonight. I think it's more or less like kind of a celebration. Um, I want to get the lid back on this stuff real quick. Um, I don't want to accidentally tip it over with the lid off because I made a whole new batch and now I can't remember what I put in it. Um, but they're going to do music in the park, um, again tonight. I don't know what kind of music it'll be, but I believe that the whole focus is on families, which is always really hard because you guys aren't here. Um. But I think it's maybe Halloween driven. I'm not sure. I know they're going to have some pizza trucks here. And they're going to do um, some pizzas and, and stuff like that. I just know that these events are difficult for me. They're really hard because you guys should be a part of it. You guys, like I was just watching some kids playing in um, the park. Actually on the basketball court. There were two girls that were your age, Clara. And they were playing basketball. And then there was a boy. And I think the boy was probably a younger brother. 
<clears throat> probably just a couple years old, younger than the girls. Um, so maybe they were 13 and he was probably like 11-ish, something like that. But those girls, like I could, it's tough. I could see you, um, Clara, being friends with those girls. And then the boy, like it, he actually reminded me of a Warren, a 12-year-old Warren. And um, it's just tough. It's so tough, you guys. It's so tough. I miss you guys so much. And we're missing so much time. And I know God's going to redeem the time. I know that. I'm confident in it. But until the time is redeemed, the, the waiting is difficult. I guess it's called the refiner's fire. Um, I want you guys to know, Warren and Clara, that there isn't a moment or, or time that goes by that I don't think about you guys. I'm not living a life as if you guys never existed. I know your father's motive is to make it seem like I never existed. That is not my motive. Never, ever. Like, it's hard for me to go about my day. It's hard for me to go about my life, moving forward in my life and not having you here with me, not having you an active component in my life. <clears throat> I want you to know that, that um, I'm not just moving forward or moving on my with my life as if nothing ever happened. No, it is right in my mind am I allowing it to ruin moving forward absolutely not am I using it am I using what evil meant for evil to propel my life towards heaven to propel my life towards helping others absolutely absolutely and I hope and pray that you guys have found a way to do the same thing as well I know your hearts I know the kind of kids that I raised you to be. <clears throat> you guys were lovers of, the, of other people, not lovers of self. You were the most selfless, kind, compassionate, giving kids that I raised you to be. Now, if anything has shifted or changed, um, that's because it happened. Um, well can I just say, in your father's care. I mean, I guess um, truth is the best defense, right? And yeah, I just want you guys to know I love you. And you know, even if things have turned, even if like maybe sour things have happened to you guys and you know, which obviously they have, your mother was taken out of your life and and now he's attempting to erase you well not just him but the whole family his family um and those around him who believe a false narrative um even when those those negative things happen um i want you guys to remember that you are not your consequence you are not how do i say this you guys are not what is happening to you or around you. You are who God created you to be. 100%. You guys are amazing. And your core, your core person, the love, compassion, mercy, grace, very forgiving kids. Um, that is who you are at your core. Because those are the fruits of the spirit. And that is... That's how God created you with all of the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Those are the kids that I know and I'm believing that is still the case. No matter what has happened, we all make bad decisions. We all make bad choices, right? So even if you've made a mistake, that doesn't define who you are because you are a child of God and you are so much greater, so much greater than I'm sure that you give yourself um, value for 
and that definitely probably than what your dad gives you or tells you. You guys are greater than all those things because you are a child of God. You have overcome the most ridiculous, strenuous, stressful situations. Um, you really have. You guys are incredible. You guys are my heroes. You guys are a lot of people's heroes. You really are. <clears throat> I love you guys. I miss you. I'll see if I can get a clip of tonight and I'll try and clip it in to, to tomorrow. Um, I do want to upload this video now so that way you guys have it before the weekend hits. Um, so if I do record anything tonight, I'll clip it into tomorrow's video. I love you guys. I'm going to end in a prayer as I always do. Um, Father God, I just thank you so much. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for creating us, putting us in this timeline for such a time as this. Father, I thank you for giving each one of us, not only me and my kids, everything they need to overcome their circumstances, but those who are watching this right now, Lord, I thank you for giving us what we need to overcome whatever it is that we are facing in our lives. Father, I thank you. I ask that you impart into us even more steadfastness, perseverance, and patience than we've ever had before. Lord, I ask that you give each one of us revelation, a wisdom and a revelation beyond our head knowledge of who we are as a child of God, standing brave and courageous in our identity and our authority as a child of God. Father, I ask that you also impart into us a fullness and a revelation of why we are here, what our calling is, what our mandate is here on this earth for such a time as this. I thank you, Father God. And, and Lord, I continue to pray. May your will be done in our court case and in our situation in each one of our lives, the listeners right now, but also definitely upon my children. Lord, may your will be done in our lives here on earth as is in heaven. And I ask that you reunite us soon. In your heavenly name, amen. I love you guys. I miss you. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.